In the deep, dark waters of our planet's lakes, ponds and swamps, there's a secret battle being fought. On either side are ferocious predators, armed with scary-looking weapons, locked in a constant struggle for survival. While some of these animals may look like something from another world, like aliens that have crawled straight out of a horror movie, others might seem more familiar, only appearing creepy due to their size. Despite the huge variety of combatants, two names stand above all the rest. They are the masters of the freshwater underworld, the giant waterbug, and the great diving beetle. But what do these scary-sounding beasts actually look like? And how exactly do they use their intimidating tools to survive? In the case of the great diving beetle, its physical characteristics reveal a life spent chasing prey underwater. Its shell is smooth and shiny, streamlined to move easily through water and reaching lengths of over two inches. It looks like a cross between a ladybug and a water strider. But don't let its relative size fool you. Underneath the tough shell, the diving beetle carries around armor made of cartilage and chitin, which allows it to dive deep in search of food. Its head is decorated with large compound eyes that are highly sensitive to light, enabling it to see even in murky depths. Two long antennae sprout from the front, used to feel its way in dark waters or grab hold of slippery prey. The middle of its body, known as the thorax, has six legs attached. But unlike most beetles, only the four outside legs are used for walking. The two inside ones are small and underdeveloped, useless on land but highly efficient in water. These form paddles that propel the beetle forward with powerful strokes. Its hind legs are tucked underneath the rest, also modified for swimming. Each leg is tipped with claws that grip the water, allowing the beetle to steer and break. Overall, this design makes it one of nature's best swimmers, capable of diving 300 feet in search of prey. Like many other aquatic insects, the great diving beetle needs air to breathe. But it doesn't have gills to extract oxygen from the water. So how does it survive underwater? To solve this problem, the diving beetle has evolved to collect air bubbles. When at the surface, it opens its wing cases, allowing water to trickle down over a special structure called the intersegmental plate. This thin membrane sits just below the wing cases and acts like a sponge, soaking up air from the atmosphere. Once saturated, the beetle snaps its wing covers shut, trapping the bubble inside. It can stay submerged for half an hour, using the oxygen stored in its portable tank. Diving beetles swallow air bubbles whole, but they can also squeeze them into smaller pockets to conserve oxygen. By limiting the amount of air it carries, a beetle can stay underwater for up to five hours. Some species can even eke out an entire year without surfacing. On the surface, diving beetles may seem like innocent, albeit somewhat creepy, residents of local waterways. But don't be fooled by their seemingly calm nature. Diving beetles are ruthless predators, always ready to attack any unsuspecting creature that enters their territory. They chase down sick fish, weak tadpoles, even carrion. Nothing is safe from the voracious appetite of these hungry insects. They don't eat just once per week. They feast multiple times daily. With their armored plates, they are immune to most predators and they are fast and maneuverable in the water, allowing them to capture slippery prey. Although they can walk on land, they need to be careful because their bubbled armor makes them buoyant. They tend to roll away from danger rather than walk towards it. Diving beetles typically swallow their prey whole, but bigger meals like small fish must be cut into chunks. The beetle uses its strong jaws to pierce the skin and inject deadly toxins into the victim's body. Enzymes break down the fish from the inside, turning it into liquid so the beetle can slurp up the meal. When it comes to hunting, the great diving beetle has some tricks up its sleeve, or should we say stinger. Just below its tail end is a retractable harpoon. When it strikes, this weapon can penetrate hard shells and protective armor. Once inside, a cocktail of toxic chemicals immobilizes the prey, after which the beetle gorges itself on the soft innards. This strategy works wonders against mollusks like snails, but the beetle isn't picky about its meals. Tadpoles, worms, other insects, and even small fish find themselves on the menu. The great diving beetle has been the top predator in many waterways for millions of years, but in recent decades, it's faced challenges. Its numbers have been declining, possibly due to changes in water quality and quantity. Plus, the beetle relies on amphibians like frogs and toads for food, and these animals are disappearing too. Scientists estimate that by 2080, frog populations could drop by 76%, leaving the beetle with fewer food sources. To make matters worse, diving beetles are already dealing with competition from invasive species like the spiny water flea. All this means the future of the diving beetle is uncertain.
which is why scientists classify it as near threatened. If the great diving beetle is the wolf of the freshwater world, then the giant water bug is its crocodile counterpart. Imagine a bug so powerful it can deliver a painful bite comparable to a bullet ant sting. Welcome to the sinister world of the giant water bug. Living up to its name, this insect boasts a gigantic segmented body covered in a hard protective shell. Its length can reach an astonishing 3.3 inches, placing it among the largest of all insects. The giant water bug sports two enormous pincers that protrude from the sides of its head like menacing boxing gloves. These pincers aren't just for show. They are deadly weapons capable of crushing prey and tearing it to shreds. The bug uses them to grab onto plants and rocks while swimming. It also employs them to strike lightning fast, grabbing unsuspecting victims before they know what hit them. But the giant water bug's killing power doesn't end at its formidable pincers. Its mouth is equipped with a terrifying needle-like beak that can pierce even the toughest exteriors. When the giant water bug bites its prey, a venomous cocktail of chemicals courses through the wound, swiftly paralyzing its victim. Before the unfortunate critter has a chance to react, the bug injects digestive juices that turn the insides of its prey into liquid. With no further ado, the giant water bug proceeds to slurp up the remains, leaving nothing behind but a pile of discarded bones. Even humans are not safe from the bite of this monstrous insect. The giant water bug delivers a pain comparable to being stung by a bullet ant. If that's not enough to earn its reputation as a nightmare fuel bug, we don't know what is. But not all is as it seems in the underwater world. Despite its frightening appearance, the giant water bug has a surprisingly tender side. That's right, this insect takes on the role of a caring father. During courtship, the male giant water bug performs a bizarre dance, vibrating the water surface to attract a potential partner. If a female is impressed by his moves, she lays her eggs on his back. The male then sets off on a journey to the surface, creating tiny ripples as he moves. The pattern of these ripples serves as a signal for unfertilized eggs to fall off. Once the male reaches the water surface, the female fertilizes the remaining eggs. Now it's time for the male to take on the role of a swimming incubator. He transports the eggs until they hatch, keeping them well aerated and protected from harm. This remarkable behavior ensures the safety and well-being of the next generation of giant water bugs. So the next time you find yourself near a lake or pond, remember that beneath the tranquil waters lurk terrifying creatures that would make even the most experienced outdoorsmen think twice about wading in. The giant water bug and the great diving beetle rule the underwater realm. Their strategies for survival are both fascinating and chilling. From the diving beetle's ability to carry air underwater to the giant water bug's venomous bite, these insects truly are the stuff of nightmares, yet they play a vital role in their ecosystem, keeping populations of other aquatic creatures in check. So perhaps it's best that we admire these creatures from a safe distance, marveling at their unique abilities while staying far away from their deadly grasp.